Hi there guys, Plunk88 here coming at you with a DVD box set overview. Now, as most of you will know, yesterday was Remembrance Sunday. In fact, it might even still be Remembrance Sunday on YouTube by the time this goes up, depending on what time scale it uh, goes upon. But anyway, unfortunately I wasn't able to do this yesterday, I was busy, but I thought it would be rather fitting to do a video on a box set featuring the second world war this is the world at war which is an award winning series sh shot back in 1974 now before we actually look at this limited edition collect edition i do have the standard edition to show you the reason why i'm going to show you the standard edition is this one is actually out of print now so the one you're going to be able to get hold of is the standard edition so i'll show that one off first and then we'll get to this one but of course before we go any further i would like to dedicate this video to uh, to the remembrance of our uh, forces out fighting our um for our rights basically um of course it's not just world war one two and all that kind of stuff it's um you know it's, it's nowadays as well and this may sound stupid at one point but one year when we were asked to remember those of those that have died during combat i actually thought of the battle of trafalgar at one point um it sounds rather strange but when you think about it the battle of trafalgar was a war that our men took part in it may have been you know hundreds and hundreds of years ago but for some reason admiral lord nelson <laughs> at that particular moment came to mind but hey i suppose it's the remembrance of the dead however far back they were but um we'll look at the standard edition but don't worry we'll be looking at this afterwards so if you were to order this online today or buy it in store more often than not you'd buy this particular version this is out on blu-ray however when i purchased this particular set this was 25 pound this particular one the blu-ray was over twice the price which i thought for up for the blu-ray uh, version wasn't necessarily worth it so it's like 65 pounds 70 quid which seemed rather steep um 30 pound didn't seem that bad and it, that is quite a a cost when it comes you know, that seemed quite a cost to me but um anyway this is the front the ultimate restored edition this is the remastered box set for the world war because as i said it was of course 1974 and of course has been released on blu-ray the restoration process will look far better on there of course on blu-ray but um, spit on my camera how lovely but pretty much when you buy this edition it's a digi pack sorry i got itchy eye you open it up and essentially all of the discs are stacked as such the other reason why i wasn't completely sure about the blu-ray set is the blu-ray set had less discs this has 11 i believe yeah 11 the blu-ray set had seven or nine discs something like that and i was a bit confused as to why they had less discs i do know obviously that blu-ray has more capacity than dvds but it's very very rare for <laughs> shows tv shows movies and all that kind of stuff to actually use the extra capacity of blu-rays it's very uncommon they don't do it very often only that the super super sets they seem to do it on you also get this episode guide which is very very nice and basically the world at war actually follows the i believe it follows the rise and fall of hitler and of course does actually follow like japan from 1941 to 1945 genocide of course there. <laughs> and this is both the blu-ray and dvd version actually it's, it's both so there you go Now this is actually exempt from classification, which I'm slightly surprised to be, because of course it is documenting war, and war isn't the most loveliest of things to talk about. But um, 
there you go that's the standard edition if you were to buy this in the shop or order it online the collector edition is or the limited collector edition is still available in places but you do have to search for it i've only ever seen it in one shop and it was an independent dvd shop so it wasn't even a chain like hmv this is the limited edition this is the outer print edition and as you can see there's a lot of differences between this and the actual edition first of all it's a lot thinner so shelf space is definitely saved it's a lot shinier and this was five pound more expensive the reason why i have both is i ordered this online thinking i'd receive this edition and received that edition and basically when you go onto the facebook page this was the edition that all of the traders showed off and i really had my heart set on this version and when of course the other version came my heart sank a little bit i wasn't too bothered but then it did sink a bit but then that day i actually popped down to hnv to exchange an item and saw this there sat on the shelf i really couldn't resist so i gave the other one to my dad for a christmas present last year so you take off this elastic band and it's actually a digibook but the really nice thing about this version is it actually has some additional information 1973 there you go sorry and it's a 26 part documentary series it's an award-winning series but you've got pictures of the various parts of the war you have actual on the actual discs themselves the pages you actually have information on what's on the disc really nice a picture of um, a, bl a, a, pl a platoon or I'm not sure the exact terminology obviously but uh, some people who of course were in World War 2 some letters pictures the many faces of Adolf Hitler the, uh, the V2 that's quite a cool picture I actually quite like that picture really cool and of course that is just <laughs> that panoramic view of the uh, all those soldiers and the part of the reason why I actually wanted to um, pick this up, apart from the fact I wish to learn more about the Second World War, is it actually shows off the restoration process. And I'm really interested in finding out, you know, how they restore this. And um, you know, I do have an interest in the film, so I wish to know when a documentary such as this, which is you know 1973, I do wish to know how they restore it to HD quality. It's always intriguing to me. And of course, at the back, you get the same guide you do in the other one, except it's at the back. So there you go. My camera's very low in memory, so I think I'm going to pause, I'm going to stop this video here. But this is the look at the, the World at War Ultimate Restored Edition, which chronicalises the events of World War II. Just a bit of a comparison between the two versions that were available a year ago. This came out a year ago, almost to the day. It came out in November last year, obviously for Remembrance Day last year. But it's a real shame this is out of print because it's a really, really nice edition. And here in the UK we don't get many Digibook-esque versions of things. But... Um, this version is still available. The documentary itself is brilliant. It's award winning. I've seen a couple of episodes. It's award winning. It, it, it can be a bit long in the tooth. But then some documentaries are. And when you're talking about something as grim and as dark as the Second World War. It could be quite bleak and quite grim in places. And maybe not necessarily boring. But um, the subject matter is of course not necessarily the best to watch. But it is a brilliant series if you wish to learn about the Second World War. And for a UK show, I think it's like 26 episodes long or something like that. Let's have a look. Yeah. It 
can't quite find the actual number of episodes. The running time is 1343 minutes, but um, not sure, but I know it's a lot of episodes, especially for a UK show, it's uh, kind of unheard of. But um, take care guys, I'll join you for the next video. This has been an overview of the World War Ultimate Restored Edition, Limited Edition and the Standard Edition you can still get hold of. But until next time guys, this is Splunk88, signing out.